What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video of new algae. That's right, the new algae in the reef tank. I've had this sample for the longest time. I had this sample shipped to me when I had the old 220. Um, and I got to apologize to the uh, guys over at New Algae. You guys have been messaging me, um, asking if I've got the sample. And every time I've checked your message, it's been on my phone and I have a hard time doing emails on my phone and by the time I get home um, I just I'm sorry guys I forget I don't get to it um, but yes I do have the product I'm gonna start sampling it now and I'm gonna be doing some very in-depth videos on the product to see what it does with the tank um, a reason why I haven't started using it yet is um, when I got the product to test I ended up selling my 220 gallon reef and um, when on this venture of building the tank you see here, I hand built everything for the tank. So that took, um, this has been almost a six month project now. The tank uh, went through its cycle. It's been set up now, I believe, for about seven weeks now. Um, so I didn't think it would be fair to uh, put new algae into a brand new tank that hasn't been cycled yet, even though it probably would have been a cool video to see how new, ag new algae acted during a cycle. I just didn't think it would be fair. So I wanted the uh, tank to uh, somewhat establish before I um, started trying out the new algae. So today I'm looking around the tank and you know things are looking really good. The corals are looking really good. Um, all the algae that, that um, was produced during the cycle is now gone. There is not one single strand of algae. The only thing I have growing is stuff on the glass now. Um, and a little bit on the power heads, but every, everything else on the rocks, I'm starting to get my uh, coralline algae. I'm sure you guys can see the green stage going on back here. Um, so I just basically wanted to give new algae a fair shot here. Um, being in a somewhat more established tank than just throwing it into a brand new reef tank and going, oh, geez, I got a whole bunch of algae. Well, that's pretty normal when we go through a cycle. So um, that's why I haven't used it guys um, and you guys over at New Algae again I am sorry I haven't been able to keep in better contact with you but that is all gonna change um, real quick too I know I was telling you guys I wanted to do an unveil video um, and it was gonna be epic guys I swear it was gonna be an epic video but I had a falling out with the guy that was gonna let me use um, a super HD camera thing or whatever um, he's part of the local reef club and he said he was gonna Help me out and um, basically he came over we were about to do it and then he said you know I'm gonna have to charge you three hundred dollars and I just went yeah see you later buddy so I'm still gonna do an unveil video it's just not gonna be as high definition it's still gonna be 1080p capable but it's just I don't I, in my opinion I think being on a really hardcore camera like that um, it would have been awesome so I'm just gonna have to do it my way guys guys and girls um, so basically you're getting a good look here at the tank of what, just an idea of what it's going to look like. I still got some other corals to mount, but you know, you get the gist here. So let's go ahead and get on to the new algae here. Um, for the 220, I was going to have to dose, I think it was 8 mil. Uh, for this tank, we're pushing somewhere around the 240 uh, gallon range with the sump. The tank itself is about 180. So I'm going to go ahead and dose the first thing, a new algae, and we're going to document the tank. Um, basically what I'm going to do after I dose the first, um, this first dose here right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my glass uh, scrubber and I'm going to scrub the glass down, make it look real clean. Basically what I want to do is see what new algae is going to do for my film algae on my glass. So as soon as I dose this, I'm going to go ahead and clean the glass off, record how many days uh, it takes for me to get a good buildup of film algae. And as time goes on, we'll keep a good document there, documentation and log what we see for getting a, you know, the film algae on the glass and see if new algae um, is going to help me out with the uh, algae problem. This stuff also, the claim is to... Um, produce more oxygen in the water and um, um, what was it I think something with the CO2 levels I don't remember for sure uh, if you guys are looking into new algae look their website up it'll tell you everything you need to know 
But um, let's go ahead and give this a shot, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do the dose right now. I'm going to give it a shake. I'm not going to take as long as Mr. Connery. Yeah, James, I threw you in there. But we'll shake this up real good here. And in this tank, since I'm going to be in the 240 range, I'm going to dose about 7 mil. And uh, see where that goes for me. Uh, new algae, if you watch this, and I'm, uh, the dose seems a little off for about 240 gallons, please let me know and I will adjust accordingly. <clears throat> After this dose too, guys, I'll go ahead and uh, take you through the tank, show you some things. The lights just turned on, so a lot of the corals aren't completely plumped up, so we'll go ahead and do that. All right, let me get my syringe here. We're going to do 7 mil. Where's my syringe reaches down that far. No, it does not. Okay. Plan B, we get a bubble. Not that bad. Stuff doesn't even have an odor to it. <laughs> Gotta test everything, I guess. Perfect. I dumped out exactly seven mil into that cup. Alright. So there you go. Let me see if I can't zoom in on this. Zoom in. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Got my seven mil with an air bubble. Yeah, I don't know why it's not gonna focus. So let's refocus on the tank here. And we're going to go ahead and dose it into the tank. Also, I uh, turn the protein skimmer off, and I'll leave it off for the first hour to two hours, and then turn it back on and uh, resume my normal uh, skimming schedule. And I'll do that every time. There we go. It's all in the tank. Let's clean out this syringe a little bit. All right. Brush that out. Get the cap back on the new algae. All right, so there it is, guys. I'll be cleaning the uh, glass here, taking a picture, doing a date recording, and then once I start seeing a heavy buildup of algae on the glass again, I'll record it, and then um, clean the glass again, record that when I clean the glass, and then we'll just keep going on with that. We'll document, 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 and see what we get, see what the results are. All right, so let's take it in a little bit closer here on the tank. I just want to show you around really quick. These are all frags and stuff of corals that I'm getting rid of. I don't want. Um, they look bleached out, but they are not. Maybe that one is. Or maybe that one's just dead. No, I don't know. Um, I've got my chalice here. The anemone ended up actually, believe it or not, making its way back over to his rock. And as you can see here, we got acros galore. Got some of the colonies, some of the frags in. Got the monopora, the caps in. Got the lang sai, my orange one. I got the uh, mystic sunset back there. The green slimer is doing amazing. Uh, just some other various acros. We got the uh, in the very back there. We got the uh, Monopora spongodes. Uh, we got the tricolor Nana right there on the seashell. Um, that is a Pozzolipora up there or something. Right there on the very edge there, um, right there, is uh, Red Planet Acropora and just other frags all over the place. Got my purple stylo down here. Uh, up above the purple stylo, we have a green slimer frag. Move the brain to the middle. And just you know, various stuff. We got the Akins down here. I moved one of the Akins up here because it was getting buried in the sand. And there we have the, uh, I forgot what this is. I forget what kind of monopora that is. We got the sunset monopora. Lost a little bit of color in the holding system, so. Hopefully it starts to color up again. The uh, Mini Maxi, Rainbow Mini Maxi, doing really well. Other various frags. I broke a whole bunch of my uh, Monty Caps. Recording Garden, doing pretty good. 
one of my pride and joys is this Monopora Satosa. And then just all the Zoas, these are the ones that I still got to mount. They're getting flipped upside down by the snails and all that good stuff. These guys are doing good. The Candy Canes. Here's the Kryptonite. Here's another one of the Monopora caps that I have to mount. That thing is a neon, neon, neon green. And more Zoas. The Scenaria. Plate Corals. And I ended up doing a little bit different with my... Uh, hammers and frog spawns I kind of wrapped them around that rock there put my Duncans up top and here's the rest of my that lime green money cap I'm trying to sell so as you can see here I kind of wrapped well that one got moved because this guy here is just excavating everything but uh, yeah move that one around the back this guy here <laughs> kind of looks like crap right now like I said the lights just came on but he's doing extremely well the uh, Tyree toadstool so, yeah, guys, like I said, I'll be doing a, uh, an unveil. I'll be getting myself a different camera to do an unveil. And hopefully we can make this tank look good for the unveil video. So, anyways, guys, there's the new algae. Um, I'm going to scrub the glass down. We're going to take a picture. And then in a couple days when I start seeing film algae, kind of like it's on the glass right now, um, we'll document that, clean the glass, and continue to go on with that. One funny thing I want to show you guys, I don't know if you can tell, but you see where the glass is dirty here and here, but then we got this clean streak going across here. That's because the tang all day long runs that exact path. Look at it. It runs that exact path all day long. I was trying to figure out why the heck do I have one clean streak on this glass all the time. It's because the tang takes this path all day long <laughs> so kind of funny I gotta feed these guys they're starting to get a little aggressive towards each other this yellow tang is a bully so the chromuses are doing good clownfish are doing good and yeah so that's that guys we'll see you in the next one peace